We're hearing now that there may be a firm date on a new trading agreement put in place as an encouragement to parliamentarians here in the UK. Is that what you're hearing? No, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I haven't heard about these scenarios. There are a lot of scenarios floating in the air and we are following very closely because, as you know, we'll assume the, we assumed already the, the presidency and we'll try to be very uh, acquainted with whatever is happening and we'll try to, to bring our contribution to a solution favorable for both sides. And from the EU side, uh, do you believe that it is a categorical position of no shift on a legal document that will change the backstop now? Legally, it's, it's difficult to pronounce myself. Uh, I'm a politician, I'm not a lawyer, but I believe it will be very difficult to try to change the results of the negotiations, which took place during a long period of time and with a lot of um, efforts on behalf of the European Union negotiator, Mr. Michel Barnier, and the, uh, the British authorities. That's why I'm a little bit pessimistic about these possibilities to change the things. This is a delicate, some would say perilous, six months for the EU. And there have been concerns raised that Romania is not the best country to be put in charge of the EU right now. You know, uh, assuming the presidency of the Council of the European Union is not a gift, it's simply a rotation. And from this point of view, I can assure you that Romania, after 10 years of membership in the European Union, is doing her best in order to assume a good and successful presidency. Your leader was found guilty of corruption. That was why he was not allowed to stand. And now your country is trying to introduce a new amnesty to allow corrupt politicians to walk free. What kind of signal does that send out? I want to tell you uh, very, very bluntly that one of the most difficult issues for Romania is the problem of the uh, penitentiaries, of the detention uh, houses. There is an infringement procedure about the crowded people in the, in the prisons and we are looking at the possibility of trying to find solutions which will offer a better, better conditions for those who are in, in prison. From this point of view, we are thinking about the possibility of uh, using some electronic devices which will permit uh, those who are convicted... Oh, sir, to, uh, forgive me. Come on, we're home. talking about corrupt uh, political practice and whether your country, your government, is going to allow an amnesty against those politicians who are found guilty. That's absurd. Uh, it is uh, maybe uh, you, you think it is absurd, but I can assure you that from time to time in all the countries, if the things are not going well from the point of view of the penal code, there are possibilities to look into other solutions, alternative solutions. For the time being, there is nothing on the table of the parliament and we, we have to look forward to what will happen. Theodore Melescani, thank you. Thank you.